is and um, this next one is kind of dealing with yeah, a particular time when I was a teenager that was really difficult. Um, I, throughout my teenage years, always like really um, couldn't wait till I was out of secondary school. I kind of thought that things would be a lot better. And although, you know, other things happen and other bad stuff comes, I definitely see teenage years as like the worst part of my life and everything has kind of been a little bit uphill <laughs> from there. Yeah. So this um, is called Chinika is not your friend anymore. You are blowing out candles on your birthday cake. You didn't want to celebrate with friends this year, it felt too forced. There were sponge crumbs slipping through your fingers. Your hair is in a low ponytail. And Shanika once said, when you wear your hair down, you're in a good mood. Shanika is not your friend anymore. You didn't realise she knew you so well. Neither of you knew that when a daisy chain is broken, some can hold on. Years later, at the end of school, you sign each other's leaving books. But at this birthday, surrounded by rocks of family, all your resources buried in books and simulation games and repeats of American import television, you are slid down the sofa, sat on the floor. You used to eat your dinner on the coffee table like this, three place nights, just to watch TV, just to have something to shout at. You're wearing a shirt with thin sunset coloured stripes, an outfit much older than your years. You are a teenager. Already you can't wait until this is over. Hope for adulthood is what gets you through each day, the frayed edges of your family to be fixed, friendships formed with a new yellow cafeteria tables, meeting boys that goes beyond butterflies. You are blowing out candles on your birthday cake. You are wishing years away like seconds were a game or a TV program to fast forward to rewind. Woo! Body mama? Body mama? Yeah. No, okay. A bit more. Um, no, it's been like that all night, um, all week.